Okay, my name is Gail from Eagle Star, and I'm from the Ogallala Lakota Nation, from the Pine Ridge Indian POW camp slash concentration camp. Uh, I used to be a student here at DQ University, but I uh, also became a teacher here. I taught the history, culture, spirituality, and language of the Lakota, my people. And while I was here, uh, I had my own drum, and I had my own drum group. And I, uh, in the evenings, I teach the students how to sing. And uh, that was ongoing throughout s uh, several semesters until the school was closed down by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges in January of 2005 when I was teaching here. And during that time, after the school closed, the students were left hanging and they had no way to get home. They were broke and the school uh, wouldn't pay for their way home. Some are from uh, as far away as uh, New York, East Coast. So they were all stuck here. So I told, I, I told the students, I said, uh, this is your school. You need to stay here and occupy, take over and fight for your school. I said, oh, We'll all be here trying to get the school back together, back on its feet, after we get our uh, accreditation going back going again after we take care of the the mess that the administration has left from embezzlement and uh, money laundering and whatever. So during that time, while they were occupying the school, they were still living in the dorms. I I came up with an honor song. to honor the students and to honor DQ. And I made this song for the brothers and sisters, the students who are here. So I'm gonna sing this song and uh, I'll translate it into English when I'm sing done singing. So uh, we can begin the song if you like.
for those students for the DQ University. This is their song. Oh, like to translate the words for the, for the people watching? Okay. The first uh, verse is Waya Oyata means uh, uh, the, the, the students. In 2005, they came to fight for their school, GQ University. And they're here. That's that's an English translation of it. Right. <laughs> it kind of takes away a little bit of a meaning when you translate anything into English from a, a native language, but it's it's really profound when you understand the language. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what it means. So that's their song. It always will be. As long as there's, there's DQ University, there will be this song that goes with it. Mm. Oh. I'm sure there's spiritual standing around around us, you know, <laughs> smiling and saying, right on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Thank you. I'm honored to share this song with you. This is now DQU 101. Right on. <laughs> hey. As far as music concerned. I got a few um, moments left on the battery before it dies. Is there any um, anything you'd like to say to um, people out there trying to hold the original vision of DQ and keep it alive? Uh, yes, we need to bring DQ University back alive as a university and accredited college to your college for the people. When when the, the school was in operation full blast, it was beautiful. We had fun. It's all indigenous peoples from a different uh, uh, cultures, uh, indigenous cultures, sharing, sharing our culture uh, together and living together, enjoying life together, sharing our lives together like this, in this way. And uh, that was beautiful. And uh, I was honored to be here to be a part of this, you know, the uh, educational system and teaching what I know of my culture and my history of my people. And, and the drum and the singing. So, so now some of the students who are not here, they, they know this song. And they always remind me when I see them at powwows or something. You know. <laughs> so that's cool. But uh, it'll be good to uh, bring this school back alive again as a college. Thank you. 